Hey guys, this is Jay Patel from MyFitMed. In the previous video, I discussed about the importance of vitamin B12 and all the symptoms that optimizing the B12 will improve. Today, I'll discuss about the different types of B12 and which one you should be taking. The two most common type of B12 are cyanocobalamin and methylcobalamin. Methylcobalamin is the natural form of B12 that's found in our body. So when methylcobalamin is taken orally, it does not require the conversion to a different form it automatically gets utilized by our body since it's the natural form of b12 the second form of vitamin b12 is cyanocobalamin cyanocobalamin is a synthetic form of b12 that gets converted into methylcobalamin once it gets absorbed into the body very little cyanocobalamin remains unconverted and it's so low that it doesn't have any other effect or any toxicity people that have mthfr gene mutation should not be taking cyanocobalamin because they'll have poor conversion to the active form or natural form of b12 which is methylcobalamin so if somebody who has mthfr gene mutation and take cyanocobalamin they may not see the improvement in their b12 level now generally both the forms of vitamin b12s are safe and effective in improving your overall symptoms except for people that have mthfr gene they should always be taking methylcobalamin now the key difference for everybody else is the absorption so studies have shown that when you take oral supplement cyanocobalamin absorption is better than methylcobalamin some of the studies have shown that the absorption of cyanocobalamin is 49 percent compared to 44 percent for methylcobalamin there are other studies that have also shown that once it's absorbed into the body methylcobalamin stays longer in the system so the retention rate for methylcobalamin is higher when it's injected into the body methylcobalamin Cobalamin is a superior form because it's the natural form and it bypasses that absorption state so it's directly into your system and ready to be utilized to improve the symptoms of low vitamin b12 overall both the form of vitamin b12 are effective and good and safer option to improve your symptoms like i discussed in the video there are time where you pick one over the other subscribe for more videos